We're here with Naoyuki Sakamoto, yep. the lead engineer for the GR Corolla, and we're gonna ask him some questions that I've been dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, first off, congratulations. Yeah. This Thank is you an amazing, yeah. amazing car. I think yeah. everyone is really excited for this car. How do you get 300 horsepower out of a 1.6 liter engine? Yeah. Actually, so we are using the GRS engine, then upgraded to the GR Corolla. So the key point for the 330 horsepower upgrade is uh, reducing back pressure. So to increase the power, we need more fuel. So put the more fuel, more exhaust gas. So to allow that, we need to reduce the back pressure. So we put the three, triple pipe exhaust system to reduce that. So does, is there a valve in the system to open yeah. up? Okay. And when does the valve open? Uh, above the certain RPM. Okay. Plus, just idling. So actually, the, just turn on the engine, the station condition. Uh, noise level is okay, so you can enjoy the 300 RPM, no, no, sorry, 300 horsepower engine sound. Right, and so is it the center pipe? Yeah. That's the one that opens yeah. with the valve. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. Tell me about the all-wheel drive system. Yeah. So you're able to split between 50-50, 60-40, yeah. 70-30, yeah. right? So how does it, I hear it's very simple. How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very complicated system. So <laughs> I don't have a confidence to explain in English because not uh, my mother language, but anyway. So actually it is using uh, electric coupling, but the unique point is, so the coupling is here, the front section, rear section, all the front section is rotating faster. So that's the point to make the distribution more than 50% to the rear. Mm. So does this adjust on the fly as mm -hmm. you're driving? Mm -hmm. So if I'm on a gravel road mm -hmm. and I need the rear spinning, it'll mm -hmm. apply more power to the front dynamically? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Mm. And so this is tuned for both like gravel and track, yeah. right? So do I do that by just adjusting the bias in yeah. the vehicle? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, why did you make this car? This is, <laughs> this is a really exciting car, and yeah. there's a lot of not so exciting cars. So yeah. why did you guys make this? Yeah, you know, the Morizo, who is the president of Akio Toyota's nickname. So he has a strong passion to make it uh, ever better car on the racing situation. So we are developing this kind of car from the motorsports technology. So actually, uh, you may know the hydrogen car in Japan. Yeah. So we are using some parts for the hydrogen color. Actually, engine size is the same because the fuel is different. So we are kind of improving through the motorsports activity. Actually, driver is Akio Toyota, Morizo. So he is improving the car by himself. Then we are adapting that technology to the car so that everyone, everyone, can, everyone can enjoy the car. Right. Yeah. Great. Tell me about the cooling system yeah. in this car. You're making a lot of power. How do you keep it? Cool. As you know, the front section, the grill is bigger than original Corolla. That's the main factor to make it cool. So we are examining the airflow. You know, the ventilation on the hood, ventilation on the fender, those are helping the cooling for the engine and the transmission. Okay, yeah, so, the, so I can take this on track, hopefully, mm -hmm. and drive it and mm -hmm. not have heating issues. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a lot of interesting aerodynamics here mm. too. Tell mm. me about the, the aero on this car. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for example, so uh, first, so we put the uh, flat bottom. So as uh, maybe, I don't know you can see, but uh, we are putting many panel below the car to make the ground effect. And also the ventilation for the hood and the fender helps the handling to stabilize the car. Mm, so it basically reduces uh, lift a little bit? Lift, uh, reduce lift. Okay. And make it smooth. Right. So this is not built on the normal Corolla assembly line. This mm -hmm. is built at the Motomachi? Special factory. Special factory? Yeah. So tell me, how is this different than the regular uh, Corolla? Unique portion is a great combination between the craftsmanship is high technology. So very skilled member is working on that to make it uh, alignment much more uh, better. And uh, also we are selecting the parts to make the combination better, like a body suspension, best combination we are checking, measuring each data. 
Mm, so you get more precision. Precision, yes. With this. And so there's a lot of handmade yeah. or hand assembled yeah. parts on this compared to the regular yeah. Yeah. Corolla. Yeah. So this has, um, the body is stronger. You have more welding too, yep. is that right? So yes. can you tell me about like a little bit about the uh, assembly? Based on the, uh, compared to the original Corolla, uh, talking about the welding spot, uh, more than 349 point, more than basic Corolla, plus uh, construction adhesive, kind of special glue, uh, more than 2.7 meter over the original Corolla. So that makes uh, that body very rigid. And also put uh, some uh, additional brace under the car. Mm. There's a lot of weight reduction mm -hmm. in this vehicle. Can you tell me how you took weight out? Uh, of course, as you can see, the carbon roof is uh, one point, and the other one is a uh, uh, lighter front suspension member. Actually, it also creates the suspension geometry better. So only suspension member itself, we reduce uh, five kilogram, uh, almost keeping the rigidity because we uh, optimize the structure. So it's uh, aluminum, the front, front suspension? Uh, front suspension member itself is steel. Steel, yeah. yeah. Because of the rigidity is important. Right, yeah. right. So this is only about 100 pounds more, mm -hmm. like 30 kilos more yeah, yeah. than the regular Corolla. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have mm. all wheel drive yeah. and we have all this additional technology. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Um, tell me about the, the limited slip, the torsion differentials that you can get. What, what's the advantage of these over the open uh, system? Uh, traction on the race track situation. So, so the reason we are using the AWD system is uh, taking advantage of the AWD traction system, traction. So also we need, it's better to put uh, some kind of LSD, but the torsion LSD is a good balance to uh, maximize the traction of the peak. And the, the manual transmission, we have like a special high strength clutch in here too? Yeah, yeah. It's designed for the DAT engine. Right. Specific right. called DAT engine. Is the powertrain different than the Yaris or is it very similar? Uh, for the more acceleration performance, of course the vehicle itself is heavier than GR Yaris because of the bigger body. So we change the differential gear ratio lower than GR Yaris. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank yeah, you so much, much and congratulations. This yeah, thank is you very much. Very exciting car. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this special interview with this very special car. My name is Eric. Please subscribe if you're new. See you in the next video.